My name is Kyle Parco. I'm a two-time All-American at Arizona State University, and I'm from Danville, California. I always wanted to get tattooed when I was a kid. I don't have a specific number, but it's definitely over 20 tattoos, I think. The day I turned 18, I went to a tattoo shop. I got this tattoo in Arabic, and two hours later, I went to practice. So I was wrestling with a freshly inked tattoo on my body, which you're not supposed to do, don't do that. I have a lot of tattoos that don't mean anything, uh, stuff that just I thought was cool and it would be like really artistic to have. Um, but yeah, this one I got, my dad passed in uh, December of 2021. I was in the middle of the season and uh, he was always a really big part of my life and a big part of why I'm here today in the position I'm in and he was always a huge supporter. The 1968 is just the year he was born. I got this tattoo for him and then the olive branches signify that um, that he's at peace and he transitioned to like a peaceful rest in heaven. Uh, the pain, uh, it depends where it is. These suck the most because you can feel it like in your in your abs, like in your chest. Like I, it's weird, but I can feel it in my nipple. It's weird. But every time I kind of forget about it after I get it, you know, it's kind of that pain that you have to go through. And for me, I kind of look at it as like a, like a symbol or like a analogy for life, I guess. You know, if you want something, there's gonna be, you're gonna have to go through pain to get it. So my cousin TJ, um, he gave me, uh, the, my chest piece for my dad and then these coordinates here and then these two as well so he's done, done a good amount of my work you know he's originally his base is being an artist so he draws a lot um, he does paintings so a lot of that stuff I was impressed by and I know that he's a good person I can trust him he's trustworthy so I wanted someone close to me especially to do this one he's one of the only people that I trusted to really do this tattoo and then a bunch of my other ones and whenever I come home I try to get him to do something on me but having him is really really cool to do those tattoos. One of two favorite I think one is I can't show you but I have these I have fear God on my thighs. Those are really cool. I like those. But I'd say definitely my chest piece for my dad is my favorite. And then the roses I just got are definitely my second favorite because I just like the the blackout on it. It looks aesthetically pleasing and then the meaning, of course, has a, a really deep meaning for myself. So those are definitely my favorites at the moment, but I'm sure I'm gonna get some more where they're gonna take that spot. I'm gonna get my back done. Um, I have this patchwork going right now, so I wanna continue that on my back. Uh, probably get like three or four big pieces on my back, but maintain that patchwork style. Um, I don't know exactly what I'm going to get next, but be sure that it's going to be pretty cool and it's going to be sick, so stay tuned.